Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Tuesday the 22nd of October. The local media headlines today. Now if you worked at County Hall in Truro and you needed to have a meeting with somebody from the Goonhilly Earth Station, which is about 30 miles away, where would you suggest you held that meeting? How about Washington DC? It might be 4,000 miles away, but who's counting? A Cornwall Council Freedom of Information answer has revealed a dramatic increase in the number of flights taken by County Hall staff in recent years, which seriously threatens to undermine the Council's war on climate change. Cornwall Reports also covered a new bylaw governing salmon fishing on the River Camel. Good news for the fish, but I predict grumbles from the field sports and tourism businesses. And Cornwall Reports had an update on that review of town and parish boundaries, which had been threatening to bring unrest wherever it went. Pirate FM was among the media to note that more than 60 Portuguese men of war jellyfish have washed ashore on Cornwall's beaches. Most of them were at Portheris Cove. The jellyfish can give a sting which is painful to humans and can be fatal to dogs. The Falmouth Packet reported an accident in Red Ruth which saw an 11-year-old girl taken to hospital after being in collision with a car. The Cornish Times looks forward to an exhibition of camera phone photos at Liscard next month. The Camelford and Delibol Post tells us of a forthcoming Royal British Legion memorial walk at Routor. And finally, Cornwall Live looks forward to some warm, sunny weather. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.